Hello, you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of Yeast 8. This is the fourth yeah, episode that I'm recording yeah. today, so... Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how long yeah. my voice yeah. holds out. Yeah. <laughs> All you, little lady! What is that? There's a big ol' fish! On rare occasions, a master fish will appear in the water. Master fish are strong and difficult to catch. They also may have rare items in their bellies. Test your fishing line toward a waterfowl and you are guaranteed to reel in a treasure chest. Ooh. Okay, so... Yes! Let me try and land this one. Yeah! Got it. Ooh, a treasure chest. Prismatic jewel. Cool. Alright, now let's catch this yeah. guy. Yes! Oh my gosh, it's not moving at all. This seems big. This seems big. Did it! Done and done! Grand Anglo. Nicely done. That was impressive, actually. Are these the yuppers? Oh my gosh! We did it though. Oh, as thought, as I thought, this is the drop down area. We don't need to go down there, but knowing that it connects there is peace of mind. Now I can go this way without worry. rolling in. Can't see what's up ahead. Do you think it's safe to continue on? We just gotta be careful is all. Huh? At all? Did you hear that too? Oh no. This is not good. That's not good. Okay. Things I won't try. Look at that. I can't even jump. No. No. That's that's not good. Oh, there's something there. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's not good. So what do I need to do? Just run in there real quick? Okay, what if I... What if I... Let's... Let's try hugging the right. Hug the right, hug the right. Yeah! Huh. yeah! Help! We're no match for it! Something's we must there. flee! Okay, hugging the right is not producing yeah. any results. Right. Treasure chest. Oh, something's Continue there. Continue hugging right. Oh, continue hugging right. Ah, it's still chasing us! Continue hugging right! Run! 
Let's just get out of here! I think it's finally stopped chasing us. Uh, I thought we were done for. Her. That beast looked like the one what was chasing me when I ran into you guys. Except bigger, faster, and madder. As far as I'm concerned, you and this island are both mad. Yeah, <laughs> you got me there. Well, oh. I don't think we can finish it off, even with Kathleen's upgrades. Oh, come on! I'm not saying the quality of our weapons is to blame. I just think we should avoid trying to fight that thing for now. Yeah, no need to push ourselves. It might be wise to look for a way to get around it. We need to be careful when we're going through that fog. Alright. Yeah! Get the target! Yeah. Sweet pepper. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Gotta get stronger! Yeah. Here. Yeah. I don't think I just I don't think I found everything yeah. in this area though with the fog. Ah, there's the Lakita race person that I needed. I think if I run through there, I might be able to explore it real quick. March. Run, 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 so many paths to go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go this way. Right there. Hit the target. Right there. Hit the target. No, no. Yeah. Eat this. Come on! Let's go! Leave it to me! Switch! Come on! Double. This is tough. Oh my gosh. Right there! Let's go! Come on! Come on. Allow me! Go! Let's not fight that thing anymore. I've decided. There's something in the tree. What is this? All right, the materials Paro mentioned should be around here somewhere. Think he was talking about these rocks? Let's see. These rocks are rather dense and durable. I think they will do just fine. Yeah, <laughs> guess that bird knew what he was talking about. There seems to be something in the tree. <laughs> Treasure! Bestiary potion. Yeah! I don't want to fight oh, that something's there. plant thing anymore. It's like way stronger than me. <laughs> Look at all this washed up debris. Must be wreckage from the ship. We might be able to use some of this stuff for the captain's watchtower. Yes, you may be right. Yeah. Alright. I guess we cut across here. Huh? huh? Look! Over there! Oh, look, that's the, um... It would appear to be another castaway. Let's go! That's the guy that was, Excuse um... Excuse me! 
He was in that room who told me to shut the door on the ship. When he... Because I, I bothered him. Hello? That man just ignored me when I tried to speak to him. Yeah, well, some people are like that. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that, right, Sahad? Now, see here. Were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? We were passengers too, and now we're stranded on this deserted island. Not my problem. <laughs> Hold on. Won't you at least hear us out? Eventually. Wow, that's the most mysterious thing ever. Oh, really now? You could at least tell us your name. Hummel. I'm a transporter. Hummel, a transporter. Transporter of what? Such a vexing man. <laughs> <laughs> At least he doesn't beat around the bush. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, I love, I love him so much. He's so, I don't know. He's so real. <laughs> I very much doubt he's interested in anything we have to say. Well, we're heading the same way. I'm sure we'll run into him again. <laughs> Transporter, huh? What an odd kid. <laughs> You don't get to call others odd. At any rate, the sun has begun to set. We should look for a place to make camp. Um... Cut through here? This area seems to be free of beasts, Mr. Kristen. Ah, then we should probably set up camp here, don't you think? I don't know why, but staring into a bonfire always seems to calm me down. This island gives me the willies. And makes my willy want to curl up and hide. <laughs> but when I stare at this fire, I feel relaxed. More than relaxed, actually. Uh, safe. It's only natural. Yeah. I agree. Mankind and fire have a shared history with one another. Fire can bring disaster and ruin, but it can also bring light, warmth, and comfort. Perhaps those memories have been etched into the souls of all humanity. Huh. Interesting. Can you believe the audacity of that man we encountered earlier? <laughs> I tried to speak to him, and he just flat out ignored me. He was rude about it, too. Said his name was Hummel. I don't know. I don't think he was being rude. Maybe he had somewhere to be. On a deserted island? Somewhere to be? We're stranded on a deserted island. Where could he possibly need to be? 
Yeah, well, there's all sorts of folks here. Like that stuffed shirt, Carlin, you know? Really, the only thing we all got in common is we were on the Lombardia when it sank. Everyone's different, you know? I know we're all different. <laughs> Let's just get some sleep. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. <sighs> I feel like he could get along with anybody. <laughs> I caught a lot today, too. <laughs> the maiden has safely arrived at the royal capital. I see. Where is Donna? I hope she's not causing trouble while the maiden is away. Donna has been cloistered away, meditating on the maiden's direct orders. I see. Then I suppose there's no cause for alarm. The child is growing into a beautiful woman, yet she still causes so many problems. I know the other candidates are working hard, but I think Olga will be chosen to be the next maiden. I can see it. An endless expanse of blue sky, sunlight shining down on the land. A soothing vision. <gasps> the animals are... The sky, the forest, turning bright red. Is this... A scarlet vision? Man, I slept like a log. <sighs> I probably should have said this last night, but you shouldn't yawn in front of people. Huh? Nobles don't do that? No one does that. It's just common sense. A at least that's what I think. Don't you agree? What? What? Is yawning rude? All right. Tell me in the comment section if the country you're from yawning is rude. To me, it's just a natural thing that people do. It's no big deal. Really? I think you two are starting to wear away at my common sense. <laughs> Being a noble little lady sounds pretty tough. <laughs> Nearby event points have been marked on the map. I'm sure... Good luck on the search! I'm sure to Sahad that being a noble is a lot of work. Oh. Did I miss that? Was there a path somewhere that I missed? Okay, hold on. Yeah! Yeah! I need to go back and see. Huh! We'll go this way. How did I miss something? I thought it was pretty thorough. Let's go! Let's go! Not this way. This way. Oh, I didn't go this way. That's true. Hey. Huh. Yes. Yeah. Now go. Now the the huh. 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 Now. Huh. Huh. Not done yet. Huh. Lightning amulet. Huh. 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 The what now? Oh no, not one of those things. Okay, we just go around it. Not done yet. Oh, there's something there. Hit the target. Now go. Yeah, hit the target. Is this a person? <gasps> Who is it? Is it that? Oh. Is it that nun? A woman, let's call out to. Whoa, whoa, is she going in that cave? It's dangerous to go there alone. Let's chase after her. Huh, 
Who'd have thunk there'd be a cave here? This area is so dark. I feel as though I might slip and fall in any second. We might need a light source before we venture further. Jeez, this place gives me the willies. Once we find that lady, let's get the hell out of here. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh? Huh? Oh, there she is. Judging from her attire, she appears to be a nun. What on earth is she doing? Were you passengers aboard the Lombardia? Yes, we were. Oh, Lord. Thank you for your divine protection. Adel explained the situation to Sister Nia. I see. So we're completely isolated from the rest of the world. I am Sister Nia, a servant of the church. Please allow me to assist you all. I suppose that's all right, but... Why did you come to such a dangerous place all by yourself? You could have died here had the worst occurred. Blessed be the fruit which ripens in times of tri tribulation. So says the Lord. I came here for this. The nun reveals a mushroom. You came in here for that? Indeed, I did. Ample nourishment to ensure my survival. Is that not sufficient enough reason? I, I suppose. Still, you really should have gone somewhere less dangerous to forage for food. But by coming here, I was precisely where I needed to be so that you could save me. This is, without question, proof that the Lord has answered my prayers. Thanks be to God. Uh, um, if you say so. <laughs> She's got some spunk for a nun. I mean... I guess. I'm supposed to be in here. Let's go. My turn now. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here. Maybe I'll get, like, an item that lets me see in the dark better or something? I feel a little nervous about it. <gasps> On guard! Still, that's one more villager. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. No! Yeah. It sniped me. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need 10 people. Which I would have if Sir Car Crash would freaking help me out. Look! Oh, is this where Hummel was staying? A ladder? I think it might be a watchtower? It certainly looks like it. You think that Hummel guy made this? No. This looks like it's been here since before we arrived on this island. But I think this was made long after the pirates came ashore here. Makes sense. The knots on these ropes are still holding. Does that mean other folk have been to on the Isle of Sairin? I'm not sure. Let's scale this ladder and see what we can find, Mr. Kristen. Ch 
check this out. That sure is a lot of notes. Let's see. Been here 20 days already. Figured I should start searching the island instead of waiting to die. I believe this is the south side of the island. While walking through the valley, I was attacked in the fog by a creature I'd never seen before. A fantastic beast. It reminds me of stories I'd heard before. Huh? This part's all smudged. It's hard for me to read. Stories of terrible lizards from long ago. Ancient creatures called primordials. Primordials? What does that mean? O obviously, based on context clues, it must refer to some kind of ancient creature. Huh? Afterward, I tried to go to the northern region of the island, but the path was too difficult to traverse. Well, looks like whoever wrote this note signed it. Who's the author? I don't know. It just says the letter T. We've been finding notes here and there that are also signed with a T. And those notes have the same handwriting as these notes here. I'm certain that whoever wrote those notes also built this watchtower. Hmm. I wonder if this T fella is still alive. I hope he can help us. You're right. If he got here before we did, he probably knows a lot more than we do. It doesn't look like there's any other information here. Let's continue on our way, Mr. Kristen. Huh. Yeah, hit the target! Yeah, not done yeah. yet! Here! Right there! For now, let's the dangerous foe! Hit the target! Now go! Holy hit smokes! Okay. Whatever that yeah. is, I don't think I can damage it. And it seems to spit out angry monsters. Let's go! My turn now! Let's just let's just ignore it for now. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I'm just going past and ignoring because I, I can't figure out what to do. This is truly a magnificent... This is a truly majestic tree. I bet if we cut it down, it'll provide some good lumber to use for building. Don't you think this would be perfect for making a watchtower at the village? Yes, I agree. At last, we've scouted all three locations. It's just like the captain said. Bringing all these materials back to the village is going to be a va very labor-intensive. Yeah, we gotta report this to the captain. Ooh, a new location. What a superb view! Chimney Rock. Gah, that's crazy to eat. Can't get any closer to the edge, not when my legs are shaking like this. What a spectacular canyon. It appears to divide the northern and southern regions of the Isle of Saren. Wonder what's on the other side of that mountain that's taking up the whole sky. Really hope we don't ever gotta go that way. We still need to search the eastern region. We can look for a route north later. Yes! All you little lady, <laughs> it's out. Hey! Is running off the <laughs> table a treasure chest? Here. Yeah. Running's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I can go down <laughs> here. Hey, aren't you? Oh. Okay, so now you're like, we need to stop. All right, we could turn around. Something in there. Oh, there's something in the waterfall grotto that I can look at. 
either move out of the way so I can travel further or another one of those sites. I don't think I got enough resin for him. Boat building. Okay. Oh, I have the hunt yuppers thing done too. <laughs> Took care of the helpers, have you? A job well done. All right, I'll give you a reward. Please help out again if anything comes up. Yeah, <laughs> we did it! Hmm, looks like you've covered all the nearby areas. Do you think we can use the material? Great news! All right, I'll talk to Dogi right now and get started. And so, under Captain Barbarossa's direction, the job was underway. Materials were transported, compiled, and prepped for assembly. Every member of Castaway Village, including Adol's exploration team, worked together to complete the job. After several nights of hard work, the watchtower was finally complete. Oh, man. <laughs> Magnificent! Look what we've accomplished! <laughs> it's so inspiring. Hmm, people can achieve anything when they put their minds to it. <laughs> Surely this is a blessing from God. And yet, the splendid watchtower is not our only accomplishment. little flower garden and uh, kitchen. <laughs> we also planted a garden and even improved the kitchen and rest areas. I never imagined we would accomplish so many things at once. It just goes to show what's possible when everyone works toward a common goal. It also helped that the locations had way more materials than we expected. Me! I find them! Better thank me! Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. <laughs> we do seem more united than before, like we've become stronger through this experience. Yes, we really... Uh... Ha 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 ha! Excellent! Most excellent, I say! He's the only exception. He didn't lift a finger to help us. At least he stayed out of our way and didn't slow us down. Eh, I bet that stuffed shirt just saw how hard we were working and took the hint. I hope you're right. Regardless, we accomplished our goal. Now I'd like to point your attention to the new barricades protecting the village. Dogi, if you could do the honors. Haha, <laughs> leave it to me! Oh man, Dogie, nice job. Thanks to the extra materials, we were able to fortify our existing barricades. But our work's not done yet, not when the beasts still pose a threat. To keep everyone safe, we need to stay on top of fortifying the barricades. We're also looking into adding more lures and other structures to defend against raids. Basically, we can never have too many materials, so keep them coming because I'll find a use for them. Collect materials to fortify Castaway Village against raids. Ooh, look at all the stuff we can make. Alright, I think that concludes everything. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. I suppose we should resume searching and exploring this island. Yeah, we gotta check out that canyon in the valley. That's one down! Nicely done. Alright, and that seems like a good place to stop for this episode. We've really outdone ourselves here. Take a look at what we've constructed. It looks nice. I wonder if there's a new chest down here. Um... I'm having a great time with this game, you guys, and I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play as well, because, uh... Ooh, a recipe. 
that's it. <laughs> I've discovered a new recipe. Um, anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya!